This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Leslie McGee with, with me right now. You are with Stana Street Strong. Thank you very much for joining us, and thank you for being such a good friend to this wonderful family here, our local family from Smith Falls. Let's start talking about Aaron, uh, the young lad that's been going through some cancer treatments and a mm -hmm. uh, stem cell transplant recently. Let's talk a little bit about him. Sure. Um, so for those that aren't already familiar, um, uh, last summer uh, in late July, um, Aaron's entire family uh, got COVID. Uh, they were, you know, sick for about a week. Everybody, you know, hunkered down, got better, but Aaron did not. Uh, Aaron actually kept getting sicker and sicker. So they took him to a COVID clinic um, and, you know, it was noted that it just really seemed very alarming that he was as sick as he was. Of course, their concern was that it was, um, you know, long COVID. That was sort of, you know, in their mind, worst case scenario. Uh, but uh, they were, it was recommended that they take him to CHEO, uh, which they did. Uh, and very quickly, um, they, you know, recognized that this was pretty serious. You know, he'd lost about 20 pounds in two weeks. Uh, you know, for a 14-year-old boy, growing boy, that's pretty, um, you know, pretty alarming. Uh, so they quickly, um, you know, did the test that they needed and it was determined that he had um, leukemia, acute leukemia. And then through further tests, um, it was determined that it was not only the, the most aggressive, but also the hardest to treat. So since then, he has been, um, well, he was at CHEO until just a, a, a week and a, a half ago. Um, maybe two weeks today. Uh, he was uh, received four rounds of chemotherapy treatments, uh, quite a few humps and bumps along the way, um, you know, as chemo can be pretty hard on your body. And uh, finally got to Sick Kids in Toronto, where he is now. And a week ago, yesterday, he finally had his uh, stem cell transplant. Very fortunate enough, too, that his sister was his donor. His sister was his donor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty amazing sister. I mean, pretty amazing, um, you know, family. They've really, through all of this, remained, um, you know, very positive, um, obviously, you know, understanding the severity of it. But, you know, I think, you know, stayed pretty strong for Aaron. And Aaron, I mean, I can't say enough about how, how strong and resilient this, this young man has been. And, uh, you know, I like to think that if anyone's going to get through this, it's going to be Aaron because he's, he's, he's really shown to be quite a tough kid. Very resilient for, yeah. uh, for sure. And very, what a strong family too, like yeah. a strong family unit too. It's the Stana yeah. Street family. There's yeah. mom, dad, he's got two, a uh, brother and a sister yep. as well. Yep. So, so three siblings and uh, they've all come together and amazingly that his sister was able to be his donor too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to find a donor. It is. It, it is. is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, and, and finding a donor that's going to be the right match. Right. Right. And uh, no, he was pretty, he was pretty lucky there. And, uh, you know, they were really hopeful that one of the kids would, would, would be, um, you know, a, a sufficient donor. And, and uh, yeah, so Sophia, yeah, she had donated actually a while ago um, in the fall when they thought that he would be going um, sooner, but they, they freeze it and keep it. And, right, yeah, right, so he right. Just now, and I, I don't know the whole family dynamics, but I, I'm mm -hmm. guessing uh, one parent is with them almost constantly. The other one has got to take care of the other two. Yeah. Uh, and this is where you're coming with some fundraising because he's in Toronto right now. The, the yeah. gas gas alone. Yeah, and, yeah. And she must be, stay, she or he, the family staying in hotel, wherever. Yeah, well, right now they're actually all together in Toronto, mm -hmm. finally. Um, that's just since the, I want to say, the, the, maybe the late last week or the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really nice for them finally to all be together because since August, uh, it's really been one or the other. Obviously, COVID protocols have prevented access. There was a COVID outbreak on his floor, mm -hmm. which then meant that not even both parents could be there at the same time. So they were taking turns driving back and forth. And of course, as parents, you've your other kids at home that you're, you know, dealing with. Uh, but they've had a lot of um, a lot of support from friends, bringing them dinners, and and uh, obviously financial support has been, um, you know, like essential. Right. They're, you know, they're not working, and and the cost of fuel, all of those things. But uh, now at least now they're together in Toronto. But of course, 
there's an expense attached to that as well to have them all together there. So. And that's, you've got some fundraising going on. You've got mm -hmm. a GoFundMe page. You've got some items up for sale. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, first and foremost, there is the GoFundMe page. Um, that was created almost immediately uh, by one of um, the family's close friends, Rebecca McCullough. Uh, you know, quickly, you know, boots on the ground, got that set up. Um, there were t-shirts made and bracelets made, and they had a day, I believe, at uh, Independent Grocer. Uh, I think it was in September where they sold you know a significant amount of those and I made some sunglasses at the time to take for sale there and then after that I, I made some more um, sunglasses and tumblers um, you know I have a cricket at home and you know I thought well what can I do right. you know how can we uh, you know anything to, to, to support the family and um, so yeah we've, we've still got a lot of sunglasses uh, tumblers uh, t-shirts, there's a few limited sizes, but there's a few t-shirts left and bracelets. And what I'm really hoping too is that uh, anyone who purchased them previously or any new people that buy them, if they can send me a picture wearing them or using them um, to the Facebook page, Stana Street Strong, uh, what I want to do is create a collage or video for Aaron just to, you know, give Aaron and the family, um, you know, a real good picture of the, of the community that's behind them. And the support. Yeah. That's for sure. Now, how yeah. do people get this, these items? Uh, right now, uh, if, you, if you message the Facebook page uh, directly, send a direct message, I'll arrange for uh, delivery and, um, and, and pick up and meet up. Uh, but I am hopeful to set up another day uh, locally where I can, you know, have a table set up outside and and uh, and I'll announce it on the Facebook page so if everyone could join and follow and then uh, then you'll see any announcements for when that's happening. Excellent, excellent. Well, you know, one more thing we need to mention too is is April is Organ Donation Awareness Month too, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. it's just so important uh, for people to be more aware of organ donation mm -hmm. and uh, be it sign your donor card or you could be a living donor just like. Aaron's sister, Sophia. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. Important. Yep, yep, because it saves lives. It absolutely. does. It yep. does, for sure. Mm -hmm. And it, and that's uh, that's what we're hoping. That's for sure. That's mm -hmm. for sure. All our prayers are going out to the Stana mm -hmm. Street family right now. Yes. Uh, you've got a Facebook page and a uh, Twitter. There's a account. Twitter, yeah. Stana Strong, at Stana Strong is the Twitter handle. Yeah. yeah right. And mm -hmm. people can get a hold of you through Facebook. Uh, yes, Facebook message me directly. Um, well, through Leslie the, McGee. Well, or, or Facebook Stana message Strong. Stana Street Strong. Okay. It comes into my inbox, and uh, that's the best way. That's where I'm keeping track of everything, and and all of the more you know current updates are going to be posted on the Facebook page. And you responded to me very quickly too, yeah, so yes, we got I you here to. today yeah. too. So yeah. that's great. That's great. So thank you very much for being here, Leslie McGee, here helping the Stana Street family. Aaron uh, is in our prayers and our thoughts, and uh, everything's going to go his way. I'm sure. I'm sure. Thank you so much for the time and, and, and allowing us to get this message out. Well, good support and good friendship. That's yeah. what you're all about. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no problem.